Coach? Yeah, that is a very hard, hard fought win. It's that's one of those games that uh, neither team deserved to lose. Uh, both teams played well enough and played hard enough to win. And uh, just a, it was just a battle. Um, we we knew it was going to be going in. But I'm really really proud of our team. Uh, we we did some good things. We over overcame some mistakes and finished strong. So just extremely proud. Start out with Cora and Maria. Uh, kind of a two-parter with Rakia. Um, she was so effective on both ends of the court, I thought, especially defensively on the boards. Um, can you, just, you know, how happy were you with her performance all around today? And then you know, she looked like she was in some pain on the bench in that fourth quarter. Um, do you have any updates on why she wasn't able to return to the game? Yeah, obviously she's she was very effective and did a lot of good things for us. And as her coach, we always want her available for sure. But um, she was dealing with some asthma on the bench and. Um, Obviously, was not able to return. Again, extremely proud of her teammates and, and what we were able to do in that fourth quarter. Maria and Casey. The two three pointers in the fourth quarter, the one by Tess, I think, to start the fourth, and then the one by Jewel to deadlock the uh, tie. How big were those threes at that time? It also completely seemed to energize your, your crowd. Yeah, you know, this is this is a game that I'll probably go back and watch and and pick about ten plays that were big plays. Those two will be two of them. And um, you know, I thought I thought Jules was um, obviously Tess got us going, and then Jules was really timely um, there late. Um, it was a great crowd. You you mentioned the crowd getting energized. What a fantastic crowd! I'm so so proud of them and. So happy that, that we got to play in front of that um, energy today because it, it affected the game. KC, Ryan, and then Jack. Gosh, this is the first time in six games you guys haven't fallen behind after the first quarter. Just how pivotal has that been for this game to kind of just have the relief and not have to worry about playing from behind? Yeah, you know, I don't know that um, – I think our team – we talked about it. We, we definitely talked about the – uh, the slow start, so to speak, but um, more focused on like 40 minutes. Let's let's put together 40 minutes, and um, the the close is just as important as the start. Uh, and glad that we closed that one well. Um, but you know, we we didn't didn't dig ourselves a hole that we had to climb out of, and obviously that was that was really good for for us throughout the game. Really strong game from Jasmine on both sides of the ball. How have you seen her improve since kind of having to step up as that one point guard? I, I tell you, she's playing with such great consistency right now, and it's consistent on both ends of the court. She's rebounding, um, she's handling our offense pretty well, um, she's scoring, she's guarding. Uh, she's one of the best I've ever seen guard ball screens. I mean, she can just really guard, and um, She's affecting us. She's affecting our team. You know, we, we're, we're um, feeding off of that defensive energy in particular. We have Jack and then Paige and Cora. Um, during her press conference, Tamari was in here and saying that Jackson walked up walked up to her after the game and said, Tamari, that's your 100 point two. Um, how special is it for you to do, get all 100 wins with Tamari being on the how, team as well? How special is it that my, my child knew that? That's, <laughs> that's pretty observant of him. Um, because I hadn't, hadn't thought about it. It is cool. It is cool. Um, you know, I haven't coached here without her. So she's um, proud of her and how she's playing right now. Um, obviously, she was very efficient offensively. Um, did, did a good job um, giving us some presence defensively again. But, um, you know, I'm just, just really happy for her. And it's it's what how we felt like this season would go. We felt like we would see that incremental increase as we win, and that's that's where we're at. Paige, this looked like your guys' most complete game, especially inside SEC play. Would you attribute that to the game plan you guys had coming in, or was did you see something this week in practice that let you know we would see something like this today? No, I, I thought that um, I thought this game we fought hard. I, I thought we had. I thought it got physical, and I thought we fought through it, and that that was great to see. And I think you know we were fighting for possessions. We were fighting on the offensive end to score. We were fighting on the defensive end um, to guard. And I think that's why it was so complete. I just thought 
just our focus was um, was greater for longer periods of time. Um, we we've had some some good games. We've we've had some good minutes, but um, I don't know that we've had the toughness minutes that we had out there today. Go next to Cora, followed by Maria. Um, Jasmine said that you told them before the game that a fan had asked you what time to show up. Um, just when they were going to start playing, because she gave all my started. things away. <laughs> Could you share your side of that, and are you, you know, happy to see that it motivated a quicker start today? Yeah, I thought it was. It was. It was a comment made in jest. Now he's going to see this on TV and, <laughs> and gloat a little bit. But uh, it was a comment made in jest about what time you should show up for the game, and I told him that I would share that with the team. I thought they would enjoy it, and uh, they did. Um, did she tell you their answer? Rakia, Rakia Jackson's answer was 250. That's the time he should show up, 250. So, um, you know, I, I think they were, um, I, I think they enjoyed that. I, I don't know that it sparked anything different, but, um, you know, they're they definitely motivated going into the game. Maria and Casey. How well timed is this off day, Thursday, for you, the staff, and the players? Well, you know what? Considering last week we did not get our off day, um, this is going to come at a, a great time. Um, the other, the other good thing: classes are supposed to start this week, and you know, not having to get back in the group of classes and play a game on Thursday is um, probably uh, an okay situation for them right now. Um, but we have to take advantage of this week, whatever that is, if that's rest, if it's practice, whatever we need in that moment, we've got to take advantage of it. Casey, then Cora. 10 rebounds for Rikia today, nine of them defensive boards. Just what makes her such a good rebounder and so effective? Well, I thought she, she used her athleticism. She went and got some rebounds. Um, I thought her teammates had some good box outs and she was a recipient of those because she was tracking them down. You know, she's long, she's athletic. She has great reaction and great savvy. Um, and uh, glad to see glad to see her with that number. It obviously could have, could have been even larger. Um, Jasmine Powell's uh, rebound and like coast to coast layup near the end started with Tamari keeping Washington out of the paint. So even though that was a rebound for her, a significant impact on this game. I know it showed up in the stat sheet, but do you feel like she's making strides in impacting the game in other ways like that, like off the ball and things Talking like about that. tomorrow. Yes, 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 I, I do, I do. I think now she's um, she's beginning to do a few more things other than just being there, you know. Um, she's starting to post up a little bit stronger. She's starting to track a few more rebounds. She's starting to play a little bit better position in that case with that box out. Um, I think she's starting to communicate a little bit better, and that comes with confidence and being back out there. So, yeah, we, we love where she's progressing to. Maria, then Paige. I asked Coach Ralph this, too. With the SEC expanding, of course, Texas and Oklahoma, this home and home with Andy every year ends. I mean, you'll rotate, but it'll take, what, 14 years to rotate each side. Will you miss it? I mean, this is, you played in it, now you've coached in it. it it's a, will you miss the home and home? Um... Yes, yes and no, I think, you know, um, yes, uh, it's a big rivalry for me personally. You know, it just, it's, it always has been. And, um, you know, I get it, I'm from the state, so I understand that long standing rivalry that you have. Um, you know, and I have a great historical perspective of some of the battles that Tennessee and Vanderbilt have had throughout the years. And, and obviously I think, um, you saw a pretty good classic one today, um, but you know as we as we continue to <laughs> continue to uh, play this conference schedule, um, you know you you just you start having new rivalries, maybe maybe a different feel, but but there's just so many rivalries in the SEC right now. I just feel like um, you know people are there's so many good basketball teams, so many. Um, speaking of your historical perspective, I wanted you to expand a little bit more on your 100th win that you got and for it to be against a rival like Vanderbilt. Yeah, I think, um, you know, for me in particular, being from the state, uh, I think this game is probably, uh, I understand the rivalry a, a little bit more than most. Um, you know, to get your, to get any kind of milestone, 
against the big rival. You know, it's a, it's a, it's cool. Um, it's it's not my goal. I didn't know that that was going to be 100. I was a little confused it, after the post game celebration. I couldn't figure out why we were on the court celebrating the win. Um, figured it out rather, rather quickly. But um, the the other thing, um, you know, to have a little, to have even a small milestone on a we back pat game, also pretty cool. You know, that's a. Um, the, the most important thing was our basketball team got a win in the league. That's the most important thing. But then if you get to start drawing it up and figuring out which games you want to do it on, it's pretty cool for it to be this game. Cora, Casey, and Ryan. Uh, you mentioned Friday that this team is at its best when you're sharing the ball. You're getting balanced, scoring, you know, four players, almost five and double figures today. Um, just, I know Rakia being off the court in the fourth probably helped that, but just where do you feel like this team is building to and what do you feel like they showed today closing that out and you being able to stick to that with Albert here? Yeah, you, you know, pick up the stat sheet and look how Vanderbilt guards. This is the most points they've given up. And um, that's not by luck. I mean, they're really good, really, really good defensively. So I understand us being able to score this many points against them. That's a big deal. and. Proud of our team for that. Um, proud of them sharing the basketball, figuring it out. It wasn't always easy, um, but we were able to, I thought we were aggressive when we needed to be aggressive, uh, in particular in the second half. And then I thought, you know, we got ourselves a free throw line. That was a good thing. Um, you know, we'll, we'll continue to grow. I think we've had some really good moments lately where we have shared the ball well and our offense has clicked. Uh, we need to continue to work towards that more, having more of those possessions. Casey and then Ryan. Vandy only had seven offensive boards, which is the lowest you guys have allowed a team to get this season. Just how proud of that number and the defensive effort from you guys to limit them. Yeah, that, that was a big number. They had, uh, I think they had four in the first half. Um, I felt like they had them early. Um, you know, we knew we needed to keep them off the glass. Um, you know, they, they play so hard. They get a lot of their extra um, points from, from their effort. So uh, glad we were able to keep them up. They, to me, they scored enough on the first shot. They didn't, didn't need any second shots. You were able to shoot 17 for 18 from the line. How happy does that make you as a coach and how big of an impact was that in the game? Uh, you, you can win uh, and lose games at the line, those close games at the line. I mean, you, you've got to be able to close it out. And, you know, obviously for us, not just late, but throughout the game, being able to step up there and make them, you capitalize on uh, mistakes by your opponents. So really proud of our team. That was a great focus on their part. Vanderbilt didn't score in the last three minutes of the game. Tamari had said it in a late timeout. You know, that was being you know, talked about to lock in, go over the rotations again. Just to be able to keep that up for the last three minutes, what do you feel like that says about the team's focus, you know, and how much they've improved in that area? Yeah, so they, they came to the bench. Uh, I think it was actually four. You, you may be right with the three, but uh, someone told me I, that it was four minutes. Um, we had the four minute timeout. It was right after. We had given up two turnovers and layups, and they, they had tied the ball game. I think we were 62. Mm -hmm. Oh, they scored one more point. Over, but maybe they got to 64 at that point. But in that timeout, we, we grabbed them and said, hey, let's get back to it. You just got to take care of the basketball because that's where they were scoring, and then we got to be solid on the other end. And i tell you what, our defensive effort down the stretch was – uh, uh, great. I'm so proud of them. And, you know, we, we, we knew they were starting to get a little gas, but it was the team we needed on the court. They were doing such a good job of working together, flying around, and, and coming up with the defensive boards. Really proud of those last few minutes defensively. All right. Thank you very much.